Ladies, on the subject of masturbation, I would like to say this. We are fully and painfully aware you can do it just as good, if not better, yourself. <laughs> However, the same is not applicable to us. <laughs> Our hands are a frightful substitute for the real thing. This is why we spend the majority of our teen years sticking our penises in warm laundry and assorted baked goods in some sort of pathetic attempt to find anything that will mimic the real thing. Alas, soon we come to the inevitable sad conclusion nothing will ever come close to a real woman moaning and saying your name and talking dirty in bed. There is nothing hotter than a girl talking dirty in bed. And that is one of the myriad of benefits you receive when you marry a bad girl. <laughs> they have filthy mouths. Good girls will never talk dirty in bed. And in fact, if they say anything, it's usually quite hurtful. Like, if you get that on me, I'll sue your ass, sir. <laughs> That's not helpful. That's litigious. I will say this, though. For dirty talk to be effective, it has to be real. There is nothing worse than faked or forced dirty talk. This is one of the reasons I have never been a fan of prostitutes. The first reason is they refuse to take my Costco Visa card. <laughs> And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If I'm not getting points, you ain't getting this dick, bitch! <laughs> and the other thing is, I've just never been a fan of fake sex. If a girl's not really into it, I find it awkward and uncomfortable. And I am aware there are men who frequent prostitutes who say, oh, well, my girl won't do the stuff that those girls do. And to that, I say, boulder dash. Boulder dash on you, sir. <laughs> because if I have learned anything in my lifetime, it's that every girl has, deep within them, a real inner prostitute. <laughs> and when they feel comfortable and safe with you, they will let her out to play. But be warned, once she comes out of her slutty little cave, there's no getting her back in. And she is a vulgar little scamp. My wife has gotten too comfortable with me now. My wife will say things in bed regularly that I have to stop and say, honey, maybe don't say that again. That was disgust. No, it didn't turn me on. It makes me want to shower. Where did you... Where did you even learn that? Did you do time in the state pen? I don't know about. I sure hope Jesus didn't hear that potty mouth. Sometimes, honey, I would like to just make love and not discuss all the stuff that can fit in my butt.